Welcome everybody. Today we're going to look at a protractor. This thing is a protractor. It's a professional tractor. It is a protractor. It measures angles. And what's an angle? An angle is where two lines, here you can see this line and this line, they come together to meet at a point or a vertex and then they create an angle. So from from here to here is the angle they create. So the tricky thing about this is there's two ways to read things. So you have to know which direction you're going at all times. There's this direction, and there's this direction. Right? It all depends on, I always like to tell students, figure out where your zero is and draw an arrow on what you're measuring. So let's look. If we're here, notice I'm at zero right now. This would be one, two, three, four, five degrees, six, seven, eight, nine, ten degrees. But somebody might be saying, hey, pal, what are you talking about ten degrees? When I look at that, I see 170 degrees. But I'm not looking at this scale. i got to pretend it is not there. I'm looking at the inside scale because I'm starting from 0 to 10, 20, 30. I would only use this scale if my angle started over here. Now that's kind of confusing until you see you actually practice using this and that's why I tell students step one always draw uh, an arrow that shows you where zero is and where you're starting and ending up on your measurement. So let's look at this. If I am starting with zero here well then here would be I would be on the inside scale. I would go from 10 this would be 20 Notice I'm reading the inside scale. 30, inside scale. Oh, it's growing. 50, 60, 70, and I want to get to this angle. And that's 90, because that is the special angle. It's called a right angle. It's 90 degrees. And it's the kind of the angle you judge all the angle other angles by. Now, this protractor is really nice and fancy, because if you look at it, it has, it just keeps going from 90, it keeps going from 90 to 100 on this scale to, let's see, we can go back to 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, to 180, or back to a flat line. Now, that's good for this one, but a lot of protractors start here, they go from this, and then they'll jump to the top. So you actually have to be able to jump both ways. Go boom, boom. You can see that here if you go to 90, well you might need to go to from 100. You could jump from 90, 91, 92. So you got to always remember and uh, check this out if you look carefully. If you look carefully, all of these 10 and 170, they all add up to 180. So bam, 160 and 20 is 180. 150, 130 equals 180. It's because it's basically the same thing you're measuring, it's going a different direction. Uh, or if two angles um, are formed on a line, they make a 180 degree angle. But that's for another lesson.